rise above. Arisa shirts and trousers. South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you are with JT Holidays. No mess, no fuss. Video Vogue for the joy of cooking. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Jitin Raj's Pallu T90 Skits presented by Lijo Jo's Peri Sherry. The film is a lovely, moving story about the 1990s and about friendship. At first, Pallu T may look like a simple nostalgia exercise, but slowly the film becomes deeper. It doesn't milk situations for emotion and sentimentality. Highly recommended. and the rest of this review may contain spoilers so watch it in on discretion now jitin raj had the story idea for pallu t90 skids and he has directed it beautifully from writer deepak vasan screenplay once again the separation of writing and directing duties pays off rich dividends for malayalam cinema let me begin with what does not work because that's very little the segue into the 1990s era story from the modern day could have been a little more inventive and the last few scenes needed a little more time to breathe the messagey closure to the subplot involving saiju kurup the big reunion at the ending these needed as much detailing as much depth as the rest of the film and yet i wept i mean i didn't just missed up i actually had tears pouring down that is the power of the gently accumulated storytelling in this trip down memory lane in this ode to selfless friendship the opening credits appear over images that look like story books for children not the super slick images from today's children's books but the hand drawn pictures we saw in champak or chanda mama though i am not a 90s kid obviously i could relate easily to the story because this is still the age of single television channel doordarshan and friendship of course is timeless the utterly brilliant da vinci santosh plays kannan whose father is no more and whose mother supports the family now kannan's neighbor in this tiny village is a relatively well off that is relatively well off unni he is not like rich or something relatively well off unni is played by neeraj krishna who is also terrific especially in the different ways he keeps addressing his kannan cheta If you wish you could read an element of the Krishna Sudama story into this friendship especially given the scene involving flat and rice but even otherwise even if you don't want to look at this aspect the two actors use their situations and their lines to create a superb bond at first palloti may look like a simple nostalgia exercise filled with camlin geometry boxes and shaktiman and sachin tendulkar and the undertaker and knowing how to fix the rubber chappal strap that has snapped free very important in the 1990s but slowly even as we delight in these memories the film becomes deeper the main reason palloti works so well is that it doesn't milk situations for emotion and sentimentality despite composer manikandan ayappa's occasionally underlining score we get a sense of casualness that things are just happening we see kannan walking to school and we see another boy on a bicycle and the class difference is instantly apparent but the point is not hammered home this boy on the bicycle may be a bit of a jerk like all kids are but he is not an evil rich kid and later when he wins a crucial event he does not gloat the focus stays on what's important the unni and kannan friendship kannan's ability to win running races his new rubber chappals chewing gum a science class demo of the digestive system kannan's pants that are too loose the grown up unni's claim that the best unni pumps come from a particular place all of these get echo moments that work beautifully pallot is wonderfully paced and it's never boring i mentioned this because sometimes an over reliance on nostalgia can get tiresome the film is also hilarious and all the more so because the things we find amusing as adults are life or death situations to these children for instance can kissing result in babies this thought gets a lovely echo in a sweet and funny suicide note and we recall that a character early on died by suicide life keeps circling around and keeps going in circles around kannan and unni even the friendship between the characters played by saiju kurup and sudhi koppa can be seen as grown up versions of kannan and unni we learn that the saiju kurup character's father was a playwright and a resentful story about childhood is presented like theater but Recalling the innocence of childhood is the small nudge these men need to rid themselves of the grudges that they have kept well into adulthood. Kannan is so good and so pure that he reminded me of the Karthi character from Meher Agan. Even when he sees a classmate being driven to school by her father on a scooter, he is convinced that walking is better because he can pluck mangoes along the way. This is the same spirit he shows when he is unhappy about his dinner. He may complain to his mother but he puts on a happy face when Unni comes by. Sharan Srinivas the cinematographer shoots most of the films with a floating 
rolling camera that gives the impression that these shots are not composed, that they are as free as the lives of these children. But again and again, we marvel at the writing. Early on, we see Kannan's lack of confidence in science class when he does not present his project. Later, Unni, through a letter, resolves to tackle this very aspect, this lack of confidence. This close knitting of themes is why Pallotti earns the right to our laughs and to our tears. This is not a manipulative movie that coasts along easy nostalgia or first love or some such thing. It uses memories to tell us a story that tells us that there are people who love us more than we love ourselves. And what is the inability to love oneself? It is after all a kind of lack of confidence, the kind that Kannan has. After all this exquisite unhurried writing, the last stretch, as I mentioned, seems too sudden given that the film runs just a little over 95 minutes. Surely the same depth could have been given to the ending, but again, I am not complaining. Kannan may be a very clever boy, an inventor, but this is not the kind of fantasy film that makes him leave his village and end up in NASA or something. There is a simplicity, an honesty, a refreshing realness about the craft in Palloti. I laughed, I cried. I felt really good. And that's it about Pallo T. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Rise above. Arise shirts and trousers. South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you're with GT Holidays. No mess, no fuss. Video invoke for the joy of cooking. <laughs>